What's up YouTube? It's Jamin and today we got some unboxings or we got one. We're gonna do another one We're gonna keep knocking this pile down that we got right here and uh, I got part two of my video on my shoes over here coming up soon um, So y'all want to check that out But yeah, man, let's go ahead and uh I'm not gonna unbox it down here. I'm gonna take it down to the table and get this bad boy unboxed But let's just pick one up. Does that have yeah, I think that's got my address on it. Um Here I'll do this so we're going to unbox this one. I don't know what's in here because I've got all those other boxes, but uh, straight from Nike. Let's take it downstairs and uh, uh, let's take it down there and dissect this bad boy. Y'all give me a second. Be right back. All right, you guys. So here we are. We are at the table now and we're ready to get into a little one-handed unboxing. If it's your first time on the channel, and you like the content and you want to see more go and check out some of my other videos uh and subscribe if you haven't already help the channel grow all right let's get into it i'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that stuff no more if you guys want to subscribe you will if you want you won't right um let's go ahead and bam right there this is the part that always gives me a problem with the one-handed unboxings let me swap the the phone here get in down here I have no clue what's in this box, y'all. No clue. Do not cut towards yourself. Not a good idea like I just did. Turn this bad boy over here. Get in right there. Man, I love this knife. So much better than my old knife. All right. Guys, let's see what we got in the box today. For today's video. What do we got? What in the world? So this is a new box for something. What did I done? What did I order? Did Nike send me the right thing? What is that? Y'all ever seen a box like this? I mean, it's pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. Get that box out of the way. But you got <clears throat> this thing is white, and you have a uh, what does that say? own own space is it one of them space hippies uh this is wild y'all this is wild got a globe there um let's take a look and see what it is all right we have the nike air zoom gt run colorway is sport red white and blue void and i know what this is now this is a shoe what does that say greater greater than greater than what what are we greater than this is a shoe that i ordered for a lifestyle shoe man i'm kind of excited about seeing this now yeah size 12 by the way retail 175 i wanted to get me another pair of shoes for the ball field something to walk around in is that a sticker i don't know if you can peel that off or not but it's like raised up off of the box uh let's get into it let's get into it on the inside you have nothing all right it's white but you do have this paper right here and it does have that symbol on it again this nike you said nike nike air zoom gt run this thing is supposed to have a lot of cushioning so we're gonna do it on feet with this bad boy too i'm gonna show y'all on feet on this so we can check it out but ready three two one and bam there it is the nike air zoom gt run right there in all its glory and i must say look at all of that cushioning we got a lot to break down here let's take them out of the box guys and go over it y'all hold on one second hey 706 just for you i know i said i was going to do a documentary on the qc sticker but how can i do a documentary when there's not one? Oh lord oh lord what did nike send to me no QC code? I got to send these guys back. I can't handle no, no QC. I got to send them back. All right, y'all. So here they go in all their full glory. The Nike Air Zoom GT Run, man. The GT Run. Look at that. It's transparent. Look, let's start with the bottom, okay? So down on the bottom, you do have this insole that has this React phone right here. I know these guys are going to be comfortable. 
Looks like you got an air unit inside of there too. I'm not sure about all the technology. If you guys want to check out the technology in this, go out and take a look at it. But what I've heard is that this shoe is super comfy, man. I've heard that it's super comfy. Um, so that's why, like I said, that's why I ordered it. I believe it was uh, Nightwing, man. What is that? What's that channel called? Wear Testers. And speaking of channels, there's only a few good shoe channels left in my opinion. I mean, we all, the big ones, the big ones. You have like uh, Wear Testers. Um, who else? Tony D2 Wild. I watch him. Mike Rich. I watch Mike Rich. But some of these YouTubers are like falling off, man. They're just, like I said in my last video, man, they're starting to all just hate on each other. I don't get it. Um, I'm glad I'm one of these little small guys right now because I don't want to be wrapped up in all of that. Got into shoes just to, you know, in the, in the YouTube community, just to spread positive vibes, man. These, these people are going crazy out there, going crazy in the streets, right? So look, very cool shoe. Again, you got the React foam, you got that air zoom right there and kind of a, what is that? Just drop the shoe, Jamin. It's a hard plastic right there. You've got this uh, mesh. What kind of, mat this material, I wonder how durable this is, but this, or how, you know, if this is gonna stretch out. I did go with a size 12, um, but I wonder how this is gonna, gonna fit my foot. That's gonna be interesting. But as you guys can see, it is a, it's like a plasticky material. I don't know how to describe it. It is not, it's not battle knit like you'd see on LeBron's or whatever, that knit posit, whatever you wanna call it. And it's not like a Yeezy, it seriously is like like plastic or something. It's very strange. I don't have another shoe with this kind of material, I can tell you that. So I'm interested in seeing how that feels. You got this plastic uh, outlet, uh, eyelet piece right here that comes up. Your tongue is very, very flimsy, okay? It's very flimsy, but you do have all of this thick padding on here that runs up the tongue. Even up here, you've got this very thick padding but on the inside, this is almost like a React tongue. If, if, you, if any of you own a React, you've got that grater again. I guess this is supposed to be, uh, you know, light as a feather. I don't know. And then you've got that symbol, which is there. On the insole, the insole is crazy on these guys, man. The insole is pure, like, like a rubber. The insole is like a, like, like a. <laughs> I didn't mean how that sounded. It's like rubber. Um, if you can see down in there, it's like a dark gray. And it, it's very, I mean, it feels comfortable, but I haven't owned a shoe that had this type of insole in it either. So this is going to be interesting. You do have a lot of padding right here around the ankle on the outside of the shoe and the inside uh, back here. And then you've also got padding right here as you're going into the bottom, you know, your, your slope of your foot right here. So it is padded well. Again, that it's just weird with that, uh, with that uh, gray rubbish material. But anyway, that's, that's a look at the, uh, you got those double swooshes right there that look pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure what the dots mean right there with a zero, zero, 001, but uh, you do have, you know, the double swoosh, the blue uh, rubber kind of material with the white uh, rubber material outline right there which does actually come off of the shoe. And in the back, this is the USA colorway, in case you can't tell, we're at red, white, and blue. Um, you've got a USA pull tab right there for the back to help get your foot down into it. But hey, enough, is there any, what is that? Oh, GT, Gran Turismo. This is gonna make me run fast, right? I barely run at all, which is why I got these guys, man. I'm starting to get in shape a little bit, losing weight. You got Nike React right there, by the way. So you have React there and Zoom there. So. This joker right here has got all kinds of Nike technology in it. Um, so yeah, let's get it on foot. Let's try it out and let's see how it feels. All right guys, so here's the shoe, the on foot as promised. I will say this, I did go a, a half a size up. I got these in a 12, but as you can see, I have a little bit of room right here in my toe. So it fits big here in the toe box. But one thing I will tell you, is the back has this hard plastic right here, going around the heel, all right? And it makes it tough to get your foot in. But once your foot in is in, it's pretty snug because of this and because of that padding I was talking about earlier. But yeah, this is it. Let's take a look at the uh, the, the cushioning on here is really good. I hope you guys are picking that up. Um, so the cushion is good. Going from the 
The back of the foot, you can definitely feel that React foam back there and you can feel that air unit. Very good responsiveness back there. Uh, now, in the forefoot, it could use a little bit more cushioning, but I mean, it's still there. You can feel it. I just think it could be a little bit better in the forefoot. But yeah, that's it. Just a quick shot of the front right there. There's your medial, okay? Transition. There's your back, all right? With the cushioning. There's your front of the shoe. Looking good, looking good. And that's it. The Nike GT Run, uh, Nike Air Zoom GT Run. Overall, great shoe. But yeah, just want to throw it on foot and let you guys see and then tell y'all about that sizing piece. Remember, it's gonna fit long in the toe, but it's gonna to fit tough in the back. Maybe this thing will expand a little bit over time, but uh, I don't know, we'll have to see. These are dead stock, right? Whether well, or not anymore, I just put them on, but maybe I'll provide an update on these if you guys want them. But yeah, appreciate it. All right, so let's close out the video with some final thoughts real quick on the Nike Air Zoom GT Run. One thing I will say, and you remember, I was just talking about it, about this hard casing back here. I'm going to suggest before you buy this shoe to try to, to try to try on, <laughs> to try this shoe on uh, if possible, because this is a BB, a Nike BB shoe, and BB, of course, is, is basketball. So while this is a GT run, this is actually a basketball model, okay? So if you're getting to play basketball in, you may not want this space up here, right? And this is why this is so tight back here on this heel it's gonna make sure you not your, your heel ain't going nowhere that i can promise you your heel ain't gonna go nowhere but with all that being said this is not a shoe that i'm gonna recommend buying unless you have a chance to try it on first for me i'm fine with it being short up here or, or a little long in the toe right here because of what i'm gonna use it for it's just gonna be a lifestyle shoe for me what does that say fatigue is the enemy Nice little Easter egg there. I didn't see that on the on the first part of the review. Fatigue is the enemy. Yes, it is. You telling me? I'm forty something years old. <laughs> you telling me about fatigue? Um, but anyway, I would not recommend buying this shoe until you try it on um, and know that you like it. For me, it's a straight seven out of ten. I mean, nothing special, but I didn't think it would be. You know, it's got some good cushioning on it. Uh, the the upper is just a little weird for me and you know enough to where i can't give it up in my upper echelon of scores which is an eight nine or ten just a seven good shoe good for what i'm going to be using it for guys i hope you enjoyed the video today uh and if you did again drop me a sub down there if you haven't subbed to the channel yet hit that like button if you enjoyed it and uh let me know what your what your thoughts are on the nike air zoom uh gt run and until next time it's jamin i'm signing out peace